So I'm heading along what is known as the railway track and I've just got my first glimpse of Thor's cave. Uh, it's uh, quite a long way up, but nevertheless, we should be able to head up there. Um, you can't quite see it from where I am now. I've just seen it through the trees, but there's a big sticky up bit there. There's a lot of people up on the top and there's a big hole halfway up or three quarters of the way up. And that is obviously the cave. And with so many people being out with it being a nice day, there's a lot of people walking and hiking and just having days out. So uh, today's going to be about looking, seeing, doing rather than the photography, I think, because this is one of those places I wanted to come for a long time, but I know it's not the best of images. But I've got all these trees around me. I might find something on the way, I might not, but we'll see. So we're heading up and look how dry this river is. This should be a river full of water. And I don't know how long it's been dry, but it looks like we're suffering a bit of a drought, but you can see now up there, that's the plan to get up to that cave. Even if it's just to go and have a look and say we've been there, that's all I want to do really. So onward and upward and I'll uh, see you when I get to the top. Well, I got to the entrance of the cave and I knew it was a tricky one to get up and it looked extremely dodgy. As you can see by the video footage, there was hundreds of people there, well, quite a lot. And it looked dodgy and iffy and I've got quite a lot of gear on me and I don't fancy slipping around trying to get in and out with all this gear on my back. So, it's another one to paste in for another day preferably a really early morning when there's no one around and I can get in and out without too many people around. So now I'm just gonna head up to the top and have a look off the top. That is quite a long way down. Whoa. I've actually just come down into this little little tunnel area and there's a little couple of little caves and openings so I'm just going to get the camera out and get a, a quick shot of this because I quite like the view looking through here it looks pretty cool so let's get this one done and then we can head on back down the slippery path Good morning. I've got to be quiet because there's people in cottages behind me. But I've got up after sunrise. I looked out the van and the beautiful fog and mist around. So uh, I've decided to come out and see if I can get a couple of pictures of the little old bridge that's here. And it's really pretty. And in the fog, it just seems to set it off a little bit. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just take a couple of pictures in the fog. Now, last night, I um, 
I, I walked up onto the bank and Thor's cave from up on the top looks amazing now. If I was to think I could get above the fog and have the fog below it and have Thor's cave sticking out, oh my God, would that be just an amazing picture. But on the way back down, I come across a couple of cows and one of them was really skittish and she was not impressed with me walking in the, on her grass. So I'm a little bit scared to go up there just in case she's there. Um, she sort of fronted me off and I'm like, oof. So um, I don't know, but I want to go up there. But first of all, let's uh, go to the other side of this bridge and have a look. Okay, I'm on the top of the hill where the potential for the most amazing picture could happen. But I don't know if it's going to. Now, the reason I've come up and I convinced myself and taught myself, I said, yeah, just do it, is because I went to photograph the bridge on the other side and I could see the sun trying to force its way through this fog, which to me meant the fog isn't that high. So I've walked up onto the top of this hill I can't see the cows. There's a sheep over there, but I can hear them. And like I say, she was skittish last night. She didn't like me in the field at all. So I'm gonna hang around here. Hopefully they won't turn up. And if they do, I'm just gonna hide behind a tree or something. See if that sun burns through this fog. And if it does, the view that way, which is at the moment nothing, is going to be fantastic but this is all in hope and chance. And the sun is just coming up over the top of that hill there behind the fog. That's cool. <laughs> in this field probably nearly half an hour now and uh, the sun's rising slowly but I'm not gonna lie to you I'm bricking it I'm, I'm constantly my eyes are all over the place listening and I, I, I'm so worried that cow's gonna come up it's a horrible feeling I really don't like it my heart's racing every so often the sun looks like I almost like I can see like a the, the blue sky and then it, it goes again I'm just I don't know how long to stand in this field for the sun's well and truly up above the hills now so I'm hoping it's heating it up so it's, it's burning it off oh I've just heard a noise oh god I am bricking it honestly happening I can see the tops of the the hills beside me now if I flick you around over there I can see these tops of these hills and I can see down in the valley a little bit there's some definitely something going on down there so it's starting to burn through but I'm not sure if it's going to burn through enough before I run out of time <laughs> I don't want to stand here all day I'm a bit dubious still um, I met the cows as I was going down the hill last night, not coming up. But yeah, this is, um, this is, it's got so much potential. I've got a little bit of blue sky coming through now. It's, it's starting to just clear a little bit. This sun is starting to bake it. So this is where it's gonna get interesting. And I've just taken a couple of shots of these sheep as well, because they look really good in the fog. I'm just trying to see if I can make something work of it all. 
you know me, I take loads and loads of photographs and I and just uh, hope I'm going to catch a really good one. <laughs> Within less than 10 minutes, maybe eight minutes, the fog just cleared. I didn't get the cloud inversion, I didn't push down. I was really hoping it was going to push down and Thor's cave was going to appear from the top. Not quite, it didn't quite do that. Um, I've taken a couple of shots to the right, a couple to the left, I've taken lots of photographs as I normally do. I put the big lens on as well, uh, it's in my pocket at the moment. I heard something behind me then. <coughs> Put the big lens on, 17300, which is in my pocket. Tried to get a couple of closer ones. Now through the lens, through the back of the camera, they don't look great. But what I can do is, when I get back to processing, I can manipulate them a little bit. And I can bring out the colours, the texture, the contrast, the just lots of different things. I can bring it out and, and, and make the image look better. So I think that's it. It started off weird. I just went for a walk, went out to Fours Cave. I wanted to have a look. I've now got a picture of it in its wilderness. I've got a lovely picture of this peak just peering in the, um, coming through the mist. Sort of looks very um, alpine-y, very sort of out of this country sort of thing. Just mount, looked like a mountain. Um, so yeah, I've, I've got I've got some I've got some photographs. I've enjoyed myself. I'm going to head back down now to the to the van, get myself some breakfast, and uh, make some plans for the rest of the day. Because I don't know what I'm going to do or where I'm going to be. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now. See you soon. Don't forget to give us that thumbs up, uh, like and subscribe to the channel. If you're not a follower, please just click that notification bell and uh, get subscribed. And I'll see you somewhere completely different. But yeah, I stood up here nearly an hour this morning. Didn't get what I wanted, but it was nice being out, watching the fog disappear. It's just amazing. Tada. And I've got to get out of this field. I don't like it anymore. Just a bit of a bonus as well. Found this little cave on the way back to the van last night and took some pictures of it with my phone and they were pretty awesome. So I'm just gonna take you in there with the camera and get a couple of pictures on the camera. It's not gonna be the best light because the light's different. But last night, it was amazing, absolutely amazing. And I wasn't expecting to see what I saw inside. So I'll take you in there, just as a bit of a bonus and show you. So we're actually stood inside this little cave at the moment and it's not just a cave as you walk in you come in through this entrance here and uh, as you walk in you get this wondrous opening that's inside it and you stand here you've got a tree hanging on on the side there but you're just literally inside this complete bowl of a opening and i think this is one of the nicest things i've seen you've got all these lovely shapes and that inside here it's absolutely amazing. And I'm just gonna try and take a couple of photographs because your eyes and you see it and it's just, it's so difficult to actually get this on camera. So I'm just gonna try. And this is a little bonus to add on to the end of that other video because that is absolutely amazing. <laughs> 